Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I have um, a haul to share with you. Now this isn't something that I picked up in a store. Um, these are actually books that my aunt sent me. Um, she is a big fan of antiquing and so am I, but I don't necessarily get time to do it. And then when she found out that I collect old textbooks, um, she sent me a huge box of textbooks old ones and some new ones actually well these aren't textbooks but some new books for the kids so I thought I'd share them with you because um, one thing that is um, neat to me is that certain textbooks yes such as um, social studies books science books those can get outdated the reading books are always going to be able to be used um, some math books you could still use them and I think it's neat to be able to go go back and look in old textbooks and kind of gain an understanding of how our culture was at the time that those were printed. So I figured I'd show them to you. Um, this is called Looking at Science um, by Lyons and Carnahan. Now, in these books, this one's copyright 1958. It doesn't say... Um, it doesn't necessarily say what the grade is, but I mean, we all know when you homeschool, your kids don't necessarily always fit into one grade, so you just kind of do what works for them. But um, this is a called Looking at Science, but it is actually a reader about scientific topics. So, um, talking about here's toys that run, talking about animals, experiments with magnets. So they're actually learning science concepts through a reader. So I thought that was neat. This one is We Look Around Us. This is a social studies text. Let's see, this was printed in 1963. So we know this is very outdated. Actually, my husband and I have been looking at this and it's pretty interesting. Um, just some of the, the stories and, and lessons that they talk about. The wordage, we know certain things aren't politically correct anymore, but they were, you could say them back then. So um, this is really interesting to me. Um, just, I mean, even, you know, like right here, this is the USSR. Obviously that's not what it is anymore. So I find it highly um, engaging and interesting to go back and look at these things. So there's that one. Let's see. This one is called Founders of the New World by Woodburn and Moran. Let's see. I don't know if this, I like that this has, um, it still has the little library card. I don't know if this tells, this one doesn't have a copyright date. This one is a lot older. Let's see if it does in the back. Nope. This is, like it says, Founders of the New World. So we talk about, um, sorry about the camera angle there. <clears throat> King Philip and his war on the whites. John Winthrop, a Puritan governor. Miles Standish. The Pilgrim Fathers at Plymouth. Captain John Smith. The Race for the New World. Um... Magellan, John Cabot, Chris, Christopher Columbus. So I think this actually would be a decent resource when my kids are older and studying those things. We could actually um, find some information in there. This is another um, kind of social studies book. And so it's definitely outdated, um, but once again, interesting to look at. So this is Nations Beyond the Sea. And this one the copyright 1946 so this talks about the old world this is a forward more maps more outdated maps um, but it's it's still your typical social studies slash geography high book where you have um, a chapter information on that chapter and then at the end you have questions and vocabulary there's a map but it, it kind of divides it into the different nations talks about turkey and 
Italy and Sicily, Barcelona and Austria and the Netherlands, see New Zealand, India. So that's another one. And these are the readers. I'm just going to go through these quickly um, because they're pretty much standard. Some of them you can tell are definitely, definitely seen better days. Um, this is a reader. I love these things. I mean, my son will be able to use these next year, so I'm excited about that. That one was Friends and Neighbors. Basic readers. This one is called... Table. The new Friends and Neighbors. It's a Scott Forsman book. This is Shining Bridges. This is Macmillan. It's a little bit older reader. Once again, you've got your stories, and at the end of each story, you have um, questions. Kind of comprehension questions. So there's a rub a dub dub by Reading Unlimited. This is a newer one. Let's see, this was copyright 1976. It's a Scott Forsman also. May I come in? This is gin before it was silver for that gin. This is more than words. This is a Macmillan. A little bit older reader again. merry-go-round. This is a teacher's edition, but obviously it's still going to be used. Meryl. Forward there for the teacher. And this, this is um, suggested activities and things like that to go along with each of the stories. So those are the older textbooks that she sent me, and the newer books. These are by World Book. Um, learning this one, is their Learning Ladders is the, I guess the little subset of World Books. Sorry for the glare. It's my light. Um, here are the titles in the sequence. We have. Um, on this one, we have um, Tough Trucks, and then on this one, we have World of Pets and Animal Babies. So those are the different books in those sequences. So these are really fun books. The words are printed big. Um, the pictures are bright and colorful. You have um, a mixture of illustrated pictures and real pictures. So that's kind of nice. This is the truck one. It talks about the different types of trucks. And it's um, written so that it's not too wordy. There's not, the words aren't so descriptive that they're over the kids' heads. Um, and then at the back of the book, once you get through all the different type of trucks, is around town it shows you where the trucks are around town and there's little facts little did you know facts it's a puzzle it's a matchup game true or false and places where you can find out more in books and websites then there's answers for the puzzles and things like that so all these books are the same and that the things in the back are the same it's just the topics that are different so this one's animal babies Bears, possums, frogs, fish. So you can see how you have some illustrated pictures and then you have some actual pictures of things. So 
It's really neat. The kids like it. My kids like, lot, they love nonfiction books, especially ones that have lots of colorful pictures. They like to ask questions about everything, especially my daughter. This one, this one's kind of neat. This one's the pets, and it starts out with choosing a pet and talks about different um, topics you need to think about before you get a pet. And then it talks about each type of pet and what you will need to do and have um, if you decide to adopt that pet. So that one's really cute. So yeah, this is kind of my little fun book haul for today. Um, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment box, and I will see you around later. Bye.